Hi Laura. Thanks for inviting me over to help you cook. Hello Owen. I'm so happy you're here. I love to cook and I'm looking forward to sharing some great recipes with you. Cooking is a science, so I hope you're ready to think like a scientist. A science? What do you mean? Well, a lot of cooking and baking involves chemistry. When we cook or bake, we are mixing together different ingredients to create something tasty. Like, when my mom makes chocolate chip cookies? You've got it, Owen. Your mom is mixing together ingredients. Chemists mix together different chemicals to form new substances. What is a substance? A substance is a material or matter that something is made out of. Chocolate chip cookies are my favorite substance. Ha ha. I agree with you. How else is cooking a science? Well, often when we cook, we take ingredients and combine them to form either a mixture or a solution. What is the difference between a mixture and a solution? A mixture is when we combine two or more different substances and no physical change happens to the substances. The substances still have the same physical properties and can often be separated. Huh. Like when I make trail mix, as an after-school snack? I use nuts, chocolate chips, raisins, and other dried fruit. Is that a mixture? Exactly. It is a mixture, because the physical properties did not change for each of the ingredients. And you can identify and separate the different ingredients. I like to separate the chocolate, and save it for last. It's my favorite part. Ha ha, me too, Owen. Now, a solution is a bit different. In a solution, the different substances are mixed together and experience a physical change. Usually, one substance will dissolve into the other. When that happens, it is very very difficult to separate the substances. Can you think of an example of something we make in the kitchen, that is a solution? Huh. Solutions have physical changes, and it is hard for the substances to be separated. Would lemonade be a solution? You're right. To make lemonade, we combine lemon juice, water, and sugar. The ingredients get mixed together, until the sugar dissolves into the water and lemon juice. This is a solution. Let's look at all the things we are going to cook today, and see if you can determine which are mixtures, and which are solutions. Okay. I'm ready for the recipes. First, we are going to make a healthy salad with chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and lettuce. Is a salad a mixture or a solution? It is a mixture. Nice job. For our next course, we will have pureed squash bisque. A bisque is a creamy, smooth soup. Is it a mixture or a solution? It is a solution. The ingredients are combined and blended together, so that they cannot be separated. Correct. Now for our main course. We are making pizza. We will have cheese, sausage, mushrooms, and peppers on our pizza. Do you think it's a mixture or a solution? I think it is a mixture. I can pick off the ingredients I don't enjoy. Like mushrooms, yuck. You got it. Okay, last one. For dessert, we are making strawberry ice cream. We need to combine cream, sugar, and strawberries. We will blend it all together, and then freeze it. Is ice cream a mixture or a solution? We are changing the physical properties of the ingredients, so it must be a solution. Fantastic! Let's review what you've learned today. Mixtures are when we combine two or more substances. The substances keep their physical properties and can be separated from each other. Some examples of mixtures in the kitchen are Trail mix A bowl of cereal and milk Oil and vinegar and spaghetti and meatballs. Solutions are when we combine two or more substances and their physical properties are changed. In a solution, the substances cannot easily be separated. Oftentimes, solutions occur when one substance dissolves into another. Some solutions are lemonade, salt water, chocolate milk, and ice cream. Great job! Now, Let's wash our hands and get cooking.